My boy GS fucking P. I see you in the building. What's wrong with what's wrong with these niggas Achilles, man? These niggas be tripping around here, don't they? I think it's about without them, what we'll be talking about. Nigga, if shit didn't happen in the world, what are y'all talking about? If shit didn't happen to you, what are y'all talking about? I don't be getting these niggas, bro. Like, I don't be getting these niggas, bro. If shit don't happen in the world, what are you rapping about? If shit don't happen to you, what are you rapping about? If it is, what if it's nothing going on, what is nobody learning and talking about? A uh, duh. Like, nigga, if it wasn't for us, what y'all be... Nigga, if it wasn't for shit going on, what would you be re rebutting re or saying shit about? It got to make sense sometimes, bro. I think niggas be talking out their ass because, again, one thing before we get into this shit is this. Everybody didn't try to be a blogger. It's a lot of niggas that came through this bitch to try to be bloggers and never got lit. So it ain't just anybody can pick up a camera like this ain't a skill. See, that's what they or a trait or that nigga earned. See, they try to act like this just a given. We gave it. No, you didn't. Because every nigga you talk to a platform you went on, you don't do the same numbers on. This shit is a 50-50 process, bro. Y'all help us, we help y'all. Because when y'all ass down that low tier coming up, we the niggas who saying, no, nah, smack fuck out of here, boy, next up. But when they get up top, they try to act like, oh, it's, if I wasn't rapping, and no, nigga, when you was rapping your fucking heart out and they was treating you like a baby, we was the niggas saying, he don't need to pass a fire no more. We the niggas that screaming, fuck out of here, he better than so-and-so. Like, let's keep this shit real, bro. This shit a hand-in-hand. Y'all need us, we need y'all. Without either, this shit ain't popping. Because when y'all crying about the money y'all need, who covering this shit? Because evidently, if y'all ain't getting the money y'all deserve, ain't nobody hearing y'all. I don't be getting this shit with you niggas, bro. You niggas get mad? No. Half the shit we talk about that be bullshit, y'all bring it. Y'all act like fans coming over here with house problems and we don't hear arguing, fucking up battle rap with that. No, it be shit y'all did, y'all peers did. We watched it, y'all did it. How the fuck y'all mad at us that we talking about it? It relates to battle rap. I've been told y'all this. They didn't, Sports Center didn't want to cover when Tiger Woods was on the lawn, bro. Well, get caught with all them. No. Crash his ports, golf court, all that shit. Wife didn't call them cheating. They didn't want to report that shit. They had to, bro. They in the business of sports, and he's a sports person. It ain't, oh, he fucked up now, sis, but he, it ain't sports. Now I don't talk about it. No. We wouldn't talk about it if your ass want a battle rap employee or artist. But the fact that you is, nigga, your life concerns around battle rap. Just like everybody else's. Nigga, you know what you signed up for. And again, some of us do make more noise than some of you blog. I mean, some of you battle rappers. And it shows. We do spaces that that, that claim more numbers than y'all's. We say shit, our tweets get more retweets than y'all. That's not our fault. You niggas ain't got no personality. Fuck is y'all talking about, nigga? I just woke up the morning. Good morning, God bless. And they gonna have twenty retweets. You gonna retweet your last battle, and the nigga ain't gonna. Man, niggas ain't supporting like that. You mad at us? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Niggas can't talk to me because I can rap. I know what it takes to write a rap round. I got mixtapes out here, so you can nullify that whole shit when you talking to the big speaker. You can miss me with that shit. All that niggas don't know. Niggas they never wrote a rap. You can't too talk to me about that, pal. My team still getting active now. Just put out some shit last year. I don't know who y'all be talking to. I done filled up buildings with performances of my own shows. We got videos of that. I don't know who y'all be talking to, bro. Y'all think a nigga just showed up. A nigga been popping. Way before this, bro. A nigga just don't get popped. Nigga just don't show up and pop. That just was a square. Some of these niggas y'all let in get it in squares. But the real niggas that's popping pop everywhere, nigga. Like popcorn. Any microwave in America, nigga, this shit gonna pop. Like, you niggas act like, nigga, like, bro, this shit ain't the end all, be all, bro. Again, y'all know me, y'all know where I'm from. You ain't found the battle rap that could deny or, or say or go against that I ain't one of them. Find them. I've been here three, four years now. I'm almost on my three or four year anniversary. I ain't seen one of the reels come out and say nothing about the big speaker yet. Or deny or say, oh, the niggas used to, no, name not, not no real ones. Now, we all going to have them, them cornballs in the comments that say, oh, I used to, we don't even know you, G. Or how it happened. Well, let's cut it the fuck out, man. Y'all niggas get up and complain. Why y'all niggas not, why y'all ain't deal with Rosenberg did and put more light on battle that rap? Super streams, doing shit different. Y'all just be complaining. That's the problem. If y'all niggas did more shit to put on for it, it give us more shit to talk about. All y'all do is complaining. 
Then we ain't got nothing to do but to cry because all you're doing is crying about your contract and how they treating you. Fuck else we supposed to be talking about? You ain't crying when we crying about with that when, we, when you doing that. When you crying about how they treating you, about what battles you getting and what contracts you, you going through and all that, Af. You ain't complaining then. How the fuck you complaining now? A great event just happened. The first thing y'all showed up when we did that space to talk about is the T-Rex chest scuffle. Battle rappers included. So when y'all talk this old media, no, y'all was right here in the midst of the jokes, in the midst of the, com the comical shit, in the midst of the slander, because a nigga pulled right up trying to slander a nigga he called his brother off top. Nigga trying to diffuse it. Nigga better not be doing Why not just say a nigga name? See, niggas want to keep it real. And we saw that. But we let that shit ride. But then we'll let a nigga act like he real. Like, let's stop the bullshit, bro. We are all the real niggas seen what shots was getting hit through here. Nigga had to be drunk. We ain't blind. I had to go listen back to it like, oh, yeah. Motherfucker pulled up with his hair on their chest. She felt the way about something. But again, when you mad about something, that shit don't change whether you there or not. Shit, it froze in my man's, and if he got a tour with a nigga, unless he's saying we ain't on it no more, it froze with me or not, I'm popping. That's my man's. I'm on it. I ain't got to wait for the, for the shit to reshape up. If I'm on it like that, if I felt disgruntled about how they treated my man's that much, let's keep it real nigga shit, bro. Y'all be letting all these all this shit, let niggas talk, 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 talk. Man, ain't nobody doing nothing around because everybody trying to live, bro, at the end of the day. Yeah, niggas gonna argue back and forth, but yeah, nigga trying to live. Niggas pushing 40, trying to act like they 25. Let's cut it the fuck out. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah, some of us demand more attention. Nigga, don't be just that clip. It be the caption on the clip. It be a nigga humor. Y'all be trying to act like y'all just put a nigga together. No. Some of you niggas don't do numbers on other interviews. Put all your interviews together. If them bitches not doing the same on each platform when you go on that bitch, nigga, that mean to let you know each platform brings something different. I don't want on platforms and did joint shows with niggas that ain't really did numbers. And I did joint shows with niggas I know just as lit and we do numbers. That's both of us. That's not just one and all. And when we don't do numbers, that's both of us. Like you niggas, bro, you niggas gotta stop, bro. Cause we put a lot of we put a lot of money in stock. We put a lot of uh stock into that money you be getting when we be popping that shit. It ain't just you rapping to your peers, bro. If it was up to peers deciding the peers, you wouldn't be no money in this shit. You niggas wanna get get in front of the light and act like no, y'all ain't no battle rap gonna surround all the shit like hip hop. Just like any other thing. Hip-hop got niggas, baby mamas, basket. They got all this shit extended from me. Nigga, don't do shit. Get out the light. You niggas be bloggers, this and blog. Then y'all try to censor like these bloggers. No, nigga. I'm with all the shit. The good, bad, and the ugly. You're not going to dictate my job. Nigga, be a blogger. Fuck you talking about? Become a blogger and you put on for the niggas that want to be righteous. Your ass do something wild in here. You're going to get, because y'all weren't saying that when them niggas were swearing up and down, I was stealing. When nobody saying, hey, niggas need to mind. They, no, when nobody saying, per, when nobody keeping it personal, when nobody saying, get back to the battles. When nobody saying that, not everybody saying they doing watch parties and all this, and, and niggas would be on the timeline saying, I got niggas bootleg and ain't nobody saying nothing. But when I did, it be hate, bro. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This shit be hate. And a nigga got to find, it's spiritual hating. You find a problem because you want to hate, but you act like it's really the problem to really hate on a nigga you want to hate on. It's spiritual hating, man. That's why you got to feel what Eddie Kane said. You can't riff like me. These niggas be mad they can't riff like you, bro. It's a jealousy thing. All the bitches they like like you, and they think, I'll fuck you like this corny nigga because you're really corny and they really like a real nigga. That's what they be trying to figure out. That's what they be trying to figure out, bro. And it be the same niggas in full-blown relationships, hating. Because the bitch is like, you damn, ain't you about Mary? Fuck you hating on the nigga for? That shit be crazy, bro. You niggas got to find out something y'all can do, bro. Yes, we got in this game. Fuck you talking about you and y'all ain't built no motherfucking stock. Niggas work for that. Because again, a nigga, look at this, y'all. 
Every nigga be cool with a nigga. All y'all, y'all done seen all these battle rappers. I'm gonna take myself. Y'all done seen me be cool with me. Then y'all done seen some of these niggas that I was cool as cool as we come tell me the wildest shit, right? I ain't even tripping about that. I ain't even mad at that, bro. Because again, I ain't grow up with these niggas. I don't got to go out the day to day with these niggas. And at the end of the day, this is a fucking job, bro. But everybody hold this shit to their chest in the stand of what they'll be doing. Oh, whoa, well, if it was me and nigga, no, you wouldn't, bro. This is a fucking job, bro. And again, also to the stand that I was going to say, it fucked up if I had a high moment right there. I knew I was getting to something. Think about this. If you the cool nigga, if you don't see nothing in me or see no type of uh, progress or no success or no type of coolness in me, how the fuck do I get cool with you? Let's figure that out. How me, if we the lame ass media, how do we get cool enough to get cool with a nigga? To even have a discrepancy with a nigga. If you were such this nigga you say, you should have been able to spot it corn billion or whatever you saying it is now, way back then. You ain't just group battle rap ain't the first place you seen niggas that's flawed and, and, and faking and make it. You've been seeing this shit since you was a shorty. Let y'all tell it in these raps. So why it ain't the same thing now? Nah? I'm trying to figure it out. Come on, man. Cambridge, I don't know. You know the rules of here. Stop the cap, hit the cash out. Yeah, you follow a nigga, but when you ain't ever spoken here, we don't know. We don't know, fool. Because if you wild out, we kick you the fuck out of here. You paid for that. We ain't doing a... I see you with the Scully on, too. Salute you. All that's cool. Send me the workout plan. But at the same time, oh, we ain't doing that. Real. These niggas, y'all got to get this shit together, bro. Niggas, niggas work their way up in this shit just like y'all did. Some of y'all just weigh all that. It ain't my fault y'all ain't do nothing. It ain't my fault y'all ain't connect with the fans. It ain't my fault y'all don't really put it in, earn your medals. You ain't got no things. That's not my fault, bro. It's not my fault. I'm funny and entertaining and got jokes. See, y'all just try to take away from a nigga whole personality. Like, it's just you gave a nigga an interview. Bro, some of y'all, bro, I didn't see some of you niggas go Instagram live or throw a space. I didn't see two niggas do a space. That shit got 30 people in it for hours. This ain't no, this for hours, bro, because you niggas are boring. And y'all come find us for the entertainment. Man, what Black Compass them at? Oh, man, get, 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 get in while them in. Y'all find the niggas. Because without niggas, ain't no show. Y'all don't be wanting to keep it real. That's why they call me the big speaker. I wish I would, bow, bro. No nigga, none of you niggas would never be more superior or I will be inferior to, bro. Never in a daytime I walk this world, bro. I don't know who y'all think y'all is or what y'all think y'all have done. All its integrity shit, but all, man, go get that shit right with them people y'all be crying with. Because all y'all niggas over the years been crying was, where's when y'all standing on all these laws with the people that took money and set you down? and did, Where's all this real tough, tough, buff, buff shit at? And again, a lot of you niggas' battles ain't been worth talking about. Let's get to that. You niggas not putting no blockbusters out here. I feel Chef Trez in the argument. He been doing shit. Ain't he mad at you, Chef? Because you ain't even around in this shit to understand these niggas, bro. But some of these niggas sit around the bullshit, involved in the bullshit, got a speaker in the bullshit, always in the middle of the bullshit, but then say the bullshit and battle rap is crazy. But Jess was in here three nights ago entertaining the bullshit. Ah, it don't make no sense. You can't cry wolf about what's going on when you in the middle of it. And that's half a battle rap. Oh, niggas wrong. They said we shouldn't be doing it. But soon some go left. Niggas got a thousand jokes like us. Niggas doing the same thing as us. Niggas got a little slick sauce to niggas they used to be with. All type of shit going on, but we the messy ones. Come on, man. We got to cut it the fuck out, bro. We got to cut it out at some point, bro. I don't know if niggas finna have a battle or if niggas treat this like rapping. Let me get hot and go argue with a nigga. Because that's the only time I see this shit, bro.
We've been talking battle rap all. Oh, shout out my girl, the boss. She definitely sent that paper. Shout out the boss. She knew, yes, yeah, sir. She stopped that cap and hit that kiss ass out. Yes, sir. You know the boss. I got to let listen. I'm on you in public. I got to let them know in public. You took care of that business. <laughs> Always, always. You know, I'm going to keep it a book. I'm going to be honest. Yes, now. You, just you, you came with the breakdown, too. Yep. But let me get back on these niggas, boss. Listen, at the same time, you <laughs> niggas, boss, it ain't the boss' fault. Mute up, it ain't the boss' fault. Her name is bigger than some of you niggas that's been battling for 10 years. That's not her fault, bro. Y'all be mad the boss, these blogs, these internet. No, it's not her fault, bro. She know how to put herself in the places to be where everybody know or not. That means y'all should have taken notes, middle, middle, mid-tier bloggers. If my name through all the blogs, y'all said to say I get them. No, because you niggas can't make no headlines because don't nobody want to argue with you. Y'all mad my arguments with battle rappers is bigger than y'all face-offs and arguments. That's what y'all mad about. Y'all mad that our shit is on OTFMC and when you argue with a nigga, nobody mentioned it. That's not our fault. You're not in the headline because you're not a headline nigga. Hint, hint. You not. I mean, I like with these blogs. Well, Air Blogger got a got a glane, nigga. You had Jerry Springer, you had Mari, you had Ricky Lake, you had fucking uh Jenny Jones. It is what it is, bro. McDonald's, Wendy's. Fuck you talking about Stuart Scott, Chris Berman. Like, let's cut it out. It's different. Like, come on, bro. Lee Corso, Kirk Herb Street. It's different, bro. Niggas do their jobs different. But y'all ain't gonna dictate the jobs. Just like y'all can't tell us what the fuck y'all when we telling y'all what we want to hear. Nigga, I'll rap. Y'all don't know what I got. Nigga, I did this shit. I'm the same. Okay. Well, don't tell us how to blog. And I ain't a blog. I'm an analyst. I analyze this shit. And I'm analyzing you niggas hating on us. Fuck is y'all talking about? That's my analyzation. We work hard putting these blogs together. And again, fighting for a lot of y'all funky ass when y'all on the up, up and coming. When a lot of y'all funky ass down there crying about what these leagues don't do, my boy Fat Boy in this motherfucking truck doing a blog on who deserve more respect. These new eras, these motherfucking champions doing lists about you niggas who need to be better and put more respect. These, I'm just keeping it real. My boy Timber just taking his whip and in this room and they're trying to get the blog together for what's going on. But you niggas will come out and talk about a nigga mama or I fuck so-and-so or put out in these battles who fucking who. What else we gonna talk about? But then y'all will blame us. But say it's keep it rap. Well, niggas keep rapping then. You brought the schemes and the angles and the personals. Not us. Y'all are talking to shit. To, uh, we ain't just coming out of nowhere saying, oh, folks said his mama or Arsenal was a school bus driver. We found out that through battle rap. The rumor, at least. So what the fuck we gonna talk about? Nigga, any bus driver ass nigga when we get mad. Shit, we can't get mad sometimes and get on our shit. When he talking shit, fuck these bloggers. Make it your bus driver that's okay. He didn't drive a bus, drive a fucking bus. It's a good joke now, though. Y'all try to act like y'all ain't human. Like the whole human element of just being funny is gone. Shit, bitch was musty before. We ain't saying she musty now, but she musty Keisha. Look, musty ass is back. Musty in eighth grade. Yeah, she got her shit right. But we gonna when we see her ass, whether she looking fine, good or not, right now, I'm like, damn, you see who? What's Keisha? Keisha, that was musty back in eighth grade. G, you remember we said, oh, shit, she bad as hell right now, G. Keisha, that was, oh, remember she was musty as hell that day. That don't mean she must, but we're going to talk about it. It just go like that, bro. For real, froze. These people be blowing me, bro. And it really, listen, I be feeling like it be me. I just feel like y'all don't be saying my name. Because I'm the only nigga that really come around that's on a blog and tip through here. That's a blogger that do the really rock through this bitch like that. On some real shit. All the other shit is really battle rappers. I'm the only motherfucker drag my nuts around here. I am, y'all. Fuck you talking about? Take it. Oh, I'm a coach now. I got a whole nother organization of people to talk to. Shit, y'all ain't stopping nothing. Y'all think y'all... For y'all niggas crying, that's the problem. Y'all niggas want to control us. Y'all can't even control y'all money. And, and, and how the people that y'all in business with treat y'all. How the fuck y'all trying to control us? Y'all can't even control them. And that's who pay, help paying your bills. You can't dictate your own battles to what you want to do. You want to dictate us. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way. Future song, mask on. Fucking mask off. That's what y'all doing. Y'all's putting these masks on, but we taking the mask off, nigga. Ain't no fucking way. 
Oh, niggas tripping, bro. Got to wake up with you niggas. Why y'all ain't talking about the battles that just went down instead of crying this morning? That's for all parties involved. That's for whom it may concern. Then you see these fans. How you talking about what I'm talking about, like narcissists and all this wild shit? No, bro. I told you the truth. What your mama going to do? What your daddy going to do? Again, if you come into battle rap and they already here, how do us blogs become cool with the battle rappers? They got to see some cool shit there. Until they get mad, which they all do, or you critique them in a way they don't like, now nah, it's a big uproar. But it's not like that. All it is is big bro, y'all the best and all that when you winning battles and we salute you because that's what you're doing. But the first time we say you made a loss, the first time we say, ah, debatable to somebody you think you clearly won, it's fuck you. You don't know battle rap. These niggas corny. Why are you here? Well, nigga, you in a sport to be judged because it's a judge sport. Real thing motherfucker said, if you don't want to be judged, do everything you want to do in the mirror by yourself. Once you come out your side, outside your house with a talent or something, nigga, it's on display for the world. And it will be judged. Deal with it and get the fuck out the way. You niggas mental too weak. You nigga mentally weak, bruh. And y'all try to come blame us. You niggas need help, man. You niggas need help or find better ways to get to get to get better promotion or become some. My nigga froze one no blogger. When he start, first started blogging, I guarantee you, he, he tell you, my numbers went up. Pause himself, I got a call. Him being a battle rapper, he ain't just go over there and the whole battle rap community just say, oh, Froze a blogger, we finna go fuck with him. Y'all ain't do that. Y'all ain't do that, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold up. Yeah, bro. Nigga steady calling me. My bad. Put my shit on. Do not disturb. Yeah, bro. Y'all ain't do that shit. That man start building this shit up. Getting, getting in the joint with easy. Okay, that didn't work. I'm finna revamp. Super stream. Y'all thought it was over. Let me bend. Let me let me spin around the block and do this and show y'all that. Bring some more excitement. Thinking of ideas, bro. That's on his own. That's not a nigga gave him nothing or a nigga. Because y'all thought it was all over. Oh, damn. Without easy. Bro, what are they going to do? Da -da -da -da. That nigga was creative and built something else, bro. That's what an innovative nigga going to do. But you niggas not innovative enough. Because y'all thought, oh, without no, dude, it's only, oh, y'all thought it was only his credit. But y'all see him do the other shit that brought it to life. Y'all understand it was a genius mind on the other side, too. Come on, bro. You niggas not innovative enough. Whenever y'all think some stop, a real nigga gonna keep it moving. Cause like I say, eight months ago, y'all thought that little bootleg and shit y'all fake tried to over rest in peace, pet stay. Overthrow that in there, whole ass niggas. Y'all thought a nigga was out of here. Spin a block right back. Two weeks gone, then in three weeks, ain't a nigga made an impact. Come right back to right where I belong. Cause we knew you niggas was hoes. Because everybody on that same trip and telling you in your face, ain't a nigga cried. But you did it because, nigga, you spiritual hating. You need a reason to hate on a nigga you dislike and telling a nigga you just don't dislike instead of just telling a nigga, I don't like you, bro. And going about your business, you want the spiritual hate. Because niggas I don't like, I don't even fuck with. I don't look at their Twitter. I don't go watch them. I don't go do nothing. Ain't spoke about them. And when you speak about them, I say, no, no, I'm not in here. That's for people I don't fuck with. I don't keep entertaining somebody I don't fuck with. I don't get cool and argue with a nigga and get back cool with a nigga I don't fuck with. You niggas be in here faking it, bro. Like, let's cut it the fuck out. Transferring over. Easy, you tripping. On any planet in America, Jurassic Park, Uranus, Mars, the another world, the third world, or any world they ain't never met. You ain't bigger than Tay Rock in no forms of fashion of nothing bigger name than bro. You should have lost your the closest you getting to being an A-side in the battle now is motherfucking John John and Don, man. You better be grateful, big bro. Now I understand you doing your thing and all, but if you think in any stratosphere, now I know your car coming up, and maybe you threw a hook, line, a sinker. 
and I took the bait. But it ain't no fucking way you think that you <laughs> is bigger than dude. Now, next week, the month later, the months before, building up to this, after this, you don't even battle enough. Them four battles a year is not going to get you that, dude. It's not going to get you. Now, don't get me wrong. You done surpassed a lot of niggas. I can keep it 55th. What you did with trenches, immaculate. Still having your name going crazy without being on URL, immaculate. Bringing battle route to Philly, did you one too, can't listen. But when it comes to bigger, bro, you listen. This one, two years for you, young stepper. This nigga been doing this shit for a soul bug plus. Them Mount Rushmore's is in graves, bro. Them bitches been up there a hundred years. You don't top one of them, G. There's a lot of different dollars. But the 150 and 100 is very significant. The one dub, 50, the 5 and 10 is cool. But that one dub, 50 and 100 is different. That one dollar is different. It's the least one, but that 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 George Washington different. I'm just letting you know, bro. It's the first. The first to anything is dynamic. You can never change that. Now it may be things of value that comes and become value of it more, but when it all stops. The main value will be in that one. Because it's the first. You niggas ain't speak. I'm speaking to these niggas this morning. Big speaker election. Let's get it. These niggas, man. Y'all see, I told y'all I've been fucking with the youth. So listen, my speaking is on point. Y'all fucking with a dangerous nigga now. I'm over dangerous. Because I'm overthinking now. I've been thinking, but I'm overthinking the right way. And you niggas is underthinking. Again, give us some better battles. Do what the fuck a bird doing. Don't blame us because the nigga that battle rap is outshadowing you niggas with one battle in a year. Let's get to that. Let's start there. Let's complain about the shit we need to be complaining about for the nigga saying we ain't talking battle rap. Because he got it on fire. We definitely talking about what he talking about. He got it on fire with one battle. You niggas battling and it ain't worth talking about more than them blogs he doing. Not all of y'all. But some of y'all, and that ain't our fault, nor is it his. Come on, bro. Y'all niggas be bugging, bro. What up, Spills? These niggas be trying back, to bro. use this motherfucker reverse psychology shit on a nigga to try to make it like a, like a nigga is beneath. No, y'all got a battle rap nigga running the airways with one battle. You niggas not doing enough. So what he is doing is to talk about. He a battle rap, we media. So even when niggas say, yeah, they gonna talk about what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, nigga, you media, if battle rap. Niggas wanna hear in battle rap what you got going on with our advice. Because again, I ain't a nigga sitting here just pop up when shit go on, nigga. When shit go around here, niggas is at me. I ain't just popping up to speak, nigga. Big speaker, where that space at? We need to hear what your take is. What you, hey, how you feel? Niggas want to know how I feel. Niggas want to know how I feel, G. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know how it is for y'all, but niggas be looking for me. I ain't a nigga just coming up trying to cloud off a nigga. Niggas look. First thing a nigga, it ain't my fault. My fans, the first, because I do have fans as well. It ain't my fault. My fans say, big speaker, we need a space for that. We need to see how you feel. That's not my fault, bro. I built that up. That ain't no nigga gave me that. Again, because y'all sweat up and down on my mama. Hey, without surf, those spaces wouldn't have been nothing colder. Da -da -da. Surf left, what happened? Me and Henny still was going upstairs. No disrespect. Henny left, what happened? We still going upstairs. Next person came and left, what we doing, y'all? Still going upstairs. Oh, my mama, I ain't went downstairs yet. It's still, except when I wasn't here. That's the only time I went downstairs is when I ain't here. And I'm going to pop my shit because I work for that. Since the day my boy son, God said you should be a blogger. Like I say, 
I turned my accidents into purpose, nigga. I ain't coming into no goal. I was just following battle rap like y'all a fan and had some dope battle rap breakdowns. A nigga said you should be a blogger. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try this shit. Fuck you talking about? I'm ambitious. If a nigga Tell say me, I can yeah. do it, I can do it. That be the niggas. They call a nigga told me that be the ones that really be making it though. The niggas that don't give a yeah. fuck. Yeah. I was one sitting there saying, oh, I'm a vicious people. I was watching the Piper Boys, the Angry Fans, Blog Talk Radio, the Wings, the Tony Bros, like everybody else. Was on Truth Show, called in, ironically. He left, took the show over for a minute. Some guy said, you used to try this shit. I was reading. I said, you know what? Shit, this COVID, little shit ain't shit going on. Fuck it. Nigga started with the iPhone. I put that. And nigga, to keep it 100, my first blog on my mama was an A-verb appreciation blog about how niggas was getting down on him. I ain't no cap. That was my first blog. I did a, I did a, a to the culture blog. Respecting three letter man, the J Blacks, the CJ City TVs, the Sun Gods, everybody that was before me. And then I did an A Verb Appreciation blog. And it was lit from then, nigga. Fuck you talking about. This was my first three blogs, because that's how I started off. Appreciation blogs. I did A Verb, Surf, Hitman, boom, boom, I did it like that. I was going out getting niggas appreciation. Nigga, I took my hat off. I came to Twitter and asked all the other bloggers as well, how you get in this shit? What's going on with this shit? Niggas gave that advice, the ones who didn't, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't say, oh, he owed me something he hated. Nigga, I kept working. When a nigga threw a blog up talking about battle rap, I made sure I got my little goof ass up in there. Let me get in here and let these niggas know my battle rap uh, knowledge is different. And that's what I did, nigga. And I kept building and kept building till Tony Bro said, hey, let's get busy, bro. I like what you're doing. Look, look, I want you a part of the platform. I couldn't make that nigga give me no job at Black Pop Compass. He had to see something. Fuck is you talking about? You get on that with Debo and them, he had to see something. I ain't making these relationships because a nigga don't fuck with it. I can't force no relationship. It got to be a mutual agreement. So let, don't let these niggas fool you like this shit don't be mutual. It's all mutual when you with them. When you against them, it's fuck you and you don't agree or you being compromised because my mind think different than yours. That's not compromise. That's we see two different views, but it's compromise because it's not in your favor. And that's the best word to use to make everybody be more on your side because nobody wants to seem like they compromise. When well, you gotta say, fuck what these niggas think. Fuck how these niggas feel. I feel how I feel. Life the biggest drug, perception the second, assumptions is the third. Never forget that. And a lot of you niggas is off those drugs, nigga. Perception and assumptions. I don't give a fuck about them. From the gutter, nigga. What you gonna tell me about myself or what mistake I'm gonna make in the now that I ain't made or my mama and them didn't go through in the den? Nigga, we already been through that. So to be embarrassed, how? I already been through embarrassment. To be, go through hurt, how? I already been hurt, nigga. What is you talking about? Like, you niggas afraid of y'all self. I ain't afraid of me. I ain't perfect. So what a nigga gonna say? That be y'all cowering her behind this shit and, 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 and subtweeting niggas and doing all this shit, nigga. I go direct with it. And niggas don't like direct, but everybody want the truth. Tell the truth told to you. Now nah, nigga hating and doing all this other shit. Nah, ain't nigga ain't hating on you, nigga. Nigga telling y'all the truth. Do more. You're not doing enough. Same thing I told the women last week. Don't keep talking about what the niggas ain't doing to women. I ain't seen no woman that's a regular battle rap woman star no league of their own. The men got seven different leagues. The niggas got seven different leagues. Ain't one woman that complain. Ain't no woman equal in this out here. Got a lead. Where it's at? But Remy and Queen of the Ring. If you ain't helping, you hurting. My big sister told me that. Don't talk about a motherfucker if you ain't gonna help him because you ain't helping him, you hurting him. Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kicking real shit, but either you tripping. Don't you ever. You're not bigger than the, the than Batman. Get the fuck out of here. It's a it's Superman. It's got all these supers. You got Spider-Man. You got all these people. None of them bigger than Batman, G. It just is what it is. For some reason, I don't know how it got like that. It's just like that. And you ain't bigger than Batman. You listen, you a villain. You may you may be Green Goblin, one of these niggas, but you ain't Batman. Come on, fool. You tripping. Especially not being on the Batman wing. You was a robin it for, for a second. Let's keep it real. No disrespect to you. You went from glue easy to block captain to one of the guys. You can't be bigger than the dude that you was under. How? And he's still kicking ass. He just made that shit with Fibu seem like a summer madness match. One round. On my baby. One round. This would be a 3-0. 
You lose, was you a real sick Cortez or Don Marino? Like, bro, we know his shit right now more than niggas that was just on these big stages. With FIBU. We don't even see you niggas taking these tight risks. I know it sounds like risk, y'all. I'm a little country. But risk. I ain't want to put that K on it, but I know it sounds like it. Call us here, risk. I ain't saying risk is his frog, nigga. Y'all know what I'm saying, though. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out, hip hop is real. They all my wrist is his frogs. That nigga's wrist is his frog. Does for six years, G. We know the whole intro. Them niggas must pay the hell of a promo knowledge. I ain't gonna lie, wrist is his frog. I know the whole shit now. But I'm easy. You a talented motherfucker though. I can't listen. What you done did for the Philly of city? I mean, for the I said for the Philly of city, for the city of Philly, dynamic. I can't even cap on it. Yeah, since I, bro, I've never been a cop, bro. I seen the nigga when I talked to him. Last time I did talk to him, that nigga always had vision, bro. He always got foresight. That's a nigga with foresight, bro. He always had, I, I ain't there yet. He hungry, G, a hungry nigga. The worst thing you can do is motivate a motherfucker already motivated, G. Man, listen, don't listen. This shit I'm kicking to y'all, bro. Don't listen. Don't, don't let this shit go. Listen, the worst thing to do is motivate a nigga already motivated, G. Doubt a nigga who already feel like he being doubted. That's the worst shit you can do, bro. And he one of them type of niggas. He one of them type of niggas. You got to give him that. That motherfucker determined. Everything he says he's going to do since he left, he been doing. With shit still being able not to happen. You can't hate on that, bro. Even to the point now you got Battle Academy no more, which is good, whether it's good or bad, or niggas feel like it's hating because they put more light on the city and what the city been doing, even if it go down. From what the bills and even the niggas that they feel like the outside, the froze and everybody been doing from that era to even bring that whole prestige back to Philly. That's what niggas really don't get credit for. They era is really being more implemented now from back then and now because it's prevalent now. It's relevant now. You see what I'm saying? So it brings shit full circle. Without a full circle, what is it? That's what made New York and Mook and them shit right. Because with Rex and all them still battling, with Mook and Luxon able to come back out, it brings it full circle. And so it just overstamps this era and it overstamps the era where Reed and Kaboom and all them niggas is from with Hollow Man and all them even coming back out and, and them bringing him back out. It just brings shit full circle, bro. And that's battle rap. But let's stop playing. And make sure, too, we're recapping the show tonight. That's why I ain't doing no re We're going to talk battle rap, which they say we don't. Tonight on that bar guys show, you feel me? Me and my boy Polo going to get real shit active. We got a lot to talk about. A lot of jokes, too. A lot of you niggas was slacking. We got top five battles coming, and we ain't lying to nobody. But again, y'all tell a nigga don't be compromised. When a nigga tell y'all the real shit, y'all cry. Hey, nice nigga. But niggas ain't keeping it real. Because they ain't keeping it real because you feel like that and we don't. You mad because you got an objective to URL, but we see where URL coming from, but we we hating? No, G, you could be two type of problems. I keep telling y'all that. You could be a problem because you really fucking shit up, or you could be a problem because the plan a nigga want to orchestrate can't go through because you're there. Remember that shit. I'm telling you. When a nigga ain't got a reason why they don't fuck with a nigga, that's because you're a problem for what he want to do or how he want to maneuver shit. Yeah, and it ain't working so out he, for him. He got to get you out the way. You could be two type of problems. Niggas just try to act like, man, niggas always, no, bro, he ain't never did nothing with me. Yeah, that means you know that I'm a problem for this nigga. Because how, how all of a sudden you go from respect to this and that. I got one critique against you. Now I'm a whole ass nigga. Because I didn't agree. We in, a, we in a place with agreements and disagreements. We in a place where judging is everything. Judgment, critiques, conversations of, hypothesis of shit. That's where we at, bro. Drama field. That's where the fuck we at. But when a nigga, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. It's one of the realest shit. Because everybody else do it. But when you doing it against them, they mad. But when you doing it with them, it's, yeah, bitch ass nigga. Hey, get my nigga Cole here. Get him in here, G. Yeah, that nigga, yeah, Cole, you talking some real shit. As soon as a nigga that real shit going against you, bitch ass nigga, loud ass nigga, nigga shouldn't have been fucking with your ass. Oh, oh now you mad. Now you mad. Oh, now you mad because I don't agree with you. But when I agree with you, oh, Black Thomas, keep it real. One of the staple programs in the motherfucking culture, man. Niggas, man, the tone bro, call all the niggas. As soon as we say, nah, 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 Gwitty voice. Nas, 
man, cornball ass niggas in the culture letting these niggas in. We gave them a voice. And this is, man, shut up. You ain't gave a nigga nothing because I couldn't get cool with you by myself, nigga. I couldn't be a blogger where you even notice me to talk to me if you ain't acknowledge me for something, nigga. Because if I was a goofy then, I'd be a goofy now. You can't be cool with me and then come out and pop out. I've been told, niggas, it don't work like that. We already off track. Because I got you tweeting I'm a real nigga. I got you tweeting I'm keeping it real. I got you in here on speaking in these recordings. And your ass popping in here about how much a nigga keep it real till it was against you. Or a nigga had you losing a battle. Nah, it's a fight. I done had you in six battles. Now, Hitman and came back. I got Hitman. Now, we mad. Now, you mad at me. Now, me and you ain't cool no more. Now, I'm a bitch-ass nigga because I went publicly and said, Hitman ain't cool with you. Or, let's get to this. Or, y'all talk shit about a motherfucker. Yeah, you my homie, 100 grand, 100 bands. But if you come in this space publicly talk about a motherfucker, the motherfucker you talk about get to come in here publicly talk about your ass back. That's a part of the job. That ain't me taking a side. I'm, why would I kick them if y'all both battle rappers and you talked about them, whether you my friend or not? They get to voice their opinion, especially if you violated them. Now, if you just said you would beat a nigga ass in a battle and they came in violating you, yeah, I might do kick them or mute them or something like that and give them a chance. Right. Nah, that's part of the job, getting both sides. Yeah, that's story. just part of it. So whether I fuck with you or not, just like I got respect for your job, nigga, I respect if you my friend and you fuck with me for my job. Because I yeah, ain't tell you problem. to get posted on OTFMZ when I got to come on here and do my job. Because if I don't, again, <laughs> that's why I say how I'm compromised. Again, how is it even, even close when they say this shit, which I don't care about. But I'm just asking to make a logical sense to the stupid people. Because if I talk about everything, what niggas complaining about or being mad about, how? As That's as what today, you want to say for your agenda to work. As far as today, I haven't heard one fucking lie. <laughs> I God. ain't lied. No, nah, ain't one lie I've been told. Ain't one. Ain't lie usually been told. ain't ain't gonna really be none until niggas want to make it delusional. Oh, niggas did this. Like, no, bro, these niggas is full of shit, bro. Niggas trying to take the human element out of this shit or start complaining when it is. Because again, when the bullshit is going on, check the fucking messages. Check the notes. Every battle rapper in here and every nigga that's a friend of a battle rapper is sending their battle rapper to come in here. Ain't nobody protecting their friends, bro. And that's how you know these niggas ain't outside. Because again, you know how many motherfuckers niggas then went and got and niggas dead right now for nothing? Because a nigga just said something crazy or a nigga didn't want no harm done and nigga came over there on that tough shit and died. There's a lot of you motherfuckers that got your uncle, your cousin, your father, your brother, your sister, and a lot of motherfuckers killed. Because you ain't want to fight or a nigga said something to you you feel like you couldn't accept because you's a hoe. And that's what battle rap then been turned into. Nigga feel like you can't say nothing to him and he'll kill a gorilla. Nigga ain't never talk, man. Shut your ass up, bro. The principal didn't curse you out before. You ain't did nothing but curse the principal back out about your child and with your puss ass home. You ain't whoop no ass. You ain't turned the school up and did nothing. Nah, nah, hey, but you get ain't. the fuck out of here, bro. Every, uh, every motherfucker that took a loss. Bro. Everybody, bro. You had disagreements with motherfuckers every day, bro. Ain't no motherfucker, but niggas act on this internet. Man, it couldn't be me, G. Nigga could never. Bro, motherfucker just didn't hold the door before you early at that motherfucking gas station since you all in the hood. You didn't say shit, but open that door up with your whole ass and go get them blunts and walk back out to the car, nigga. You ain't had no discrepancy. Don't come on this internet acting like you got it. It's all respect and, and standard with me. Nigga, you a pussy then, you're going to be a pussy now. Don't try to over-standardize this because we can't see you or notice you. And you hiding behind a picture that ain't even you. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Nah, they, and they did have them pitchforks and, and got them torches out for you. And I seen all kind of motherfuckers talking about watch parties this weekend. I ain't going to even cap it out, boy. They they show pick and choose when they come to my neck. It's the spiritual hate, G. You know what they said? But nah, we ain't talking about the big events. It's the small events. Because they do it out of pocket. This is what they said. They they all every time you went to some they put a they put an extensive uh payment plan on the motherfucker. They they moved they moved a goal post when it that's why you know what I be I, I just laugh at niggas. Bro, I don't even about my fucking, money. Man. These niggas can't tip nigga. I'm a legend, nigga. 
Give a fuck if it stopped today. I'm a legend in this shit, nigga. Bitch, I'm already the fuck a is you talking about? I Three years, need. nigga. I'm a legend. I ain't gonna never let these niggas tell you what I am. I know what I am. And I gotta know what I am to produce, nigga. You can't tell me, nigga. I can be from a thousand blocks, nigga. When I go into a, a New York, Atlanta, that block can't fight for me, nigga. I gotta be who I am everywhere I go, nigga. That shit don't validate me. I'm self-validated, nigga. I'm a motherfucking legend in this shit, nigga. So what fuck is you talking get about? Rid of me. Nigga Not can't and nigga can't me. deny. <laughs> fuck is these niggas talking about? They can try to cry. They can try to say that shit. One thing these niggas can't deny, the big speaker get this bitch rocking, folks. They can try to fake it and make it and I keep this bitch lit, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? They, they hate it. They hate it, bro. They really do. I, I didn't I didn't piece them out. And some of these battle rappers really hate it because your shit be rocking more than theirs. Come rocking. That ain't that ain't just battle rap, nigga. That's personality. When the fuck do fans want to come hear more from a blogger than an actual battle rapper? How that's my <laughs> fault. That means you're not exciting, nigga. <laughs> a verb don't have a problem. A verb don't have a problem when I'm doing the space and, and doing this dumb shit. Because whatever his agenda is, he gonna have his people in there. Wake and bake, they don't have no problem. Whatever wake and bake agenda is, they people gonna be in there. So the drama can get outfield if niggas more niggas that got can can get some fucking uh traffic. It's talking about the real shit, but that's all y'all uh, focus is on the mad shit. Y'all 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 ain't y'all ain't posting when OTFMZ is posting niggas birthdays and posting when niggas doing uh taking their kids to school or kids proms and y'all don't post that back when OTFMZ do that. But y'all all post that bullshit and say all oh, they is about the bullshit. But y'all don't see when they doing uh artist promo and album release for the women and shit over there. Like see, I keep it real. You motherfuckers don't be watching cuz y'all skip all that and just want to say, "Oh, OTFMZ is all drama." No, y'all ain't highlighting when they doing the right shit. And then Jay Black don't get in the drama, but then y'all say he compromised when he don't speak on the drama when y'all know the nigga not a drama nigga. But then it come try to accolade Three Letter Man for not being in drama. Man, you niggas be capping, man. I'll break you niggas down. And that's what y'all be mad about. First of all, bro, it's more than battle rappers of y'all battle rapping. It's rappers, bro. It's niggas doing hip-hop media. It's more money in that shit than this. Spade, it's more money in this shit than this, bro. Because, again, you battling a lot. And it's the first time we done said your name since. So without battle, no, without, no, that shit don't mean without battle rap, no battle. Because we ain't talking about your battles. Or a battle at this point. Let's get right in here. We finna get right with you niggas today. Especially you battle rappers that think that shit don't matter. First of all, you got to get in the it matters in battle rap algorithm. You're not even in the in, it matters battle when that battle come out algorithm yet to even act like your battle is a part of the battles that care about if battle rap is moving. I'm finna get at y'all niggas playing with the wrong one, G. You got to get in the algorithm. The most you getting spoke about is when we doing these spaces or a tournament come up for Tay Rock and we breaking them down. Them the big speaker. Y'all niggas tripping. You're not even in the algorithm to speak for them or with them. Fucking retweet something with two likes. 10 seconds later, it got like, come on, man. Fucking likes. Man. Niggas should be supposed to be up there four hours, one heart. Yo, shit, not in the algorithm to even speak on what the media, you niggas not lit enough yet to where it matter. Right. And I meant no disrespect to that, like you made your statement with no disrespect. Simple as that. I seen the umph in that. But, bro, you ain't had a battle that we that's hit the media that we care to talk about. So, you're not even in the algorithm of the battles that make our shit move. And a lot of y'all battles not. Because a lot of y'all ass on the app hidden, which we don't care. And if we not talking about what's on the app, me, the bosses, the niggas that's got the app, nobody give a fuck. So for a lot of y'all, that statement is a blind statement. Because without us, you, you ain't got a career. Because ain't nobody talking about that shit. Let's get this it's shit right. It's definitely an ecosystem. Let's get, get this shit that. all the way right today. Like, come on, man. Only a motherfucker that's in that algorithm speaking. If you really in that algorithm, you like I said, I just think the nigga that's a battle rapper. A verb. He's not having no problem with none of this. He's not complaining about nobody watching him. He's not complaining about a nigga looking at his battle. He's not complaining about what the media doing more than what he want to do. Because if y'all talking about battle rappers fucking it up, he's attacking the Titan right now. 
Y'all ain't asking him to do no battle rap shit. That's y'all peer. He's a peer. And a nigga said, Verb, get off there. Let's get the battle rap. But when we don't talk about battle rap, y'all, but y'all and that bitch listening for hours from the YouTube to the spaces. But y'all talking about media ain't covering. No, your own fucking peer ain't covering it. Because you niggas ain't been exciting. Well, Murder Mook and Twerk was, right. which we're going to talk about tonight. Jazz the Rapper Big K was good, which we're going to talk about tonight. Casey J and Shuni was, which we're going to talk about tonight. On our show on YouTube, tune in where we talk about the battles at. Nigga, we come on here to talk a little battle rap bullshit, talk about some other shit, life shit. Nigga, we ain't just always, we didn't built on here on some real shit beyond battle rap, talking about kids, all type of different shit in here. If you be here, so we didn't build our own fan bases through Twitter like you niggas then did. Some bigger than ours, some smaller. Like, but fuck out of here, bro. And y'all need us like we need y'all. This shit a hand to hand. If it ain't no stores, you can't spend money to buy nothing. So what the fuck would you need the money for? If you rapping with no media and fans, fuck is you rapping for? You in your room with no money, with nothing, working at the store, nigga. Yeah, it's working at the local Walmart if you ain't rapping and we ain't watching and paying, nigga, without the media and the fans. Because your peers ain't buying nothing. All them niggas show up That's and say, fact. let me in, Debo, KD, or I'm here with my plus five, nigga. Y'all all be in that bitch for free, rapping for free, still on the corner for free, without us, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about? Never forget that. Without us. Because, again, when y'all get to them reference points, battle rappers, and y'all want to make y'all a point about these wins, what well, Black Compass had me with, what well, Friends said, what well, Piper Boy said, or well, Angry Fan said, y'all go right to the media, the people that don't matter. But that's where y'all first go to validate what y'all have done. Ask Black Compass what I done did. Ask Jay Black. So why the fuck I got to ask Jay Black if you already validating what you done did? Why you need media? Make it make sense when y'all be speaking, bro. Y'all got to make this shit make sense. That's a snap or tap. Y'all got to be, y'all got to make this shit make sense, bro. Again, when these motherfuckers' faces come up, I don't do it. Man, well, nigga, I go missing. They look for me. You niggas go missing. They don't care about a battle. That's not my fault. I'm bringing entertainment every day, nigga. That's not my fault. A tumbleweed come through. Damn, Cole, you ain't did his face in a minute, man. Do his face. That's not my fault, nigga. Salute my people for being real supporters. Y'all need to get a better support system. Let's get to that. Let's start there. See, y'all don't want to talk about the shit that's real. The shit y'all really supposed to be getting to. Y'all want to blame every motherfucker for, this, for, the, for the other shit or what y'all lack of personality, humor, attractiveness. Forty ain't got that problem. None of the people with that problem complain about what we do. Only you niggas that have got that problem. E hard ain't complaining about they what the a verb itself ain't. None of the niggas that's doing well and they own and control their own algorithm has complained about what media is doing. Cause they doing media as well. Froze ain't complained one time about what media doing. He's doing his one two. Why the fuck are y'all complaining? Get a platform. Do something. Move us out the way. Become more entertaining. Do something to move us out the way, bro. How you beat a nigga is trumping them. Trump them. Be better. Do better. Present better shit. Host more spaces. Come take y'all shit. If this y'all shit, come take it, nigga. Come take control of this shit. Don't just keep crying every five months because y'all do this every five months. When nigga, we gonna talk about how dynamic motherfucking Mook and Twerk was. Shitting me, that bitch was dynamic. We gonna talk about Remy still getting through and doing her thing and Jazz and Big K and the Wody implications. We gonna talk about Coffee 40 and all the things that went on with that. We finna break this shit down tonight. Be that for that. Y'all be in these motherfucking spaces and again, it be hot like fire. Because if that shit wasn't popping like that, all these bloggers and all these motherfuckers wouldn't be re-uploading this shit. Blame them niggas. We ain't telling them to take our content and put it out for the YouTube for y'all. It'll be all on y'all front YouTube and y'all algorithm. They taking it. Tell me when I fucking lied today, bro. Y'all niggas be needing this shit. 
a little scolding. You know how your uncle used to do you fucking up outside to get you in the crib? Hey, man, your ass out there. I ain't listen. I know you're going to do what you're going to do, but, bro, your ass going to die out there. You keep playing these games. You got to do it like this. Like, you, bro, nigga got to talk to these niggas, bro. You niggas be old, young niggas, bro. Emotional, sensitive. Preteens. You niggas be acting like preteens, bro. Get young this niggas, shit right, bro. Oh, young niggas. For real, bro. <laughs> you kind of going crazy right now. I'm not going to lie. Adolescent. <laughs> Adolescent brain. Capitals. These niggas crazy, bro. Especially if you a nigga say a nigga can't stop what you can do regardless. That's what they had nigga do. Nigga can't stop me from doing what I do regardless. But then you'll complain about fans and people. How how that work? If a nigga can't stop you, a nigga can't stop you. Shit, Loaded Lux last battle, he lost. Soon as he came out, uh, 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 other motherfucking Woolworks, everybody is excited. Like, that nigga won six battles. It's not his fault. Do we do we be mad at it? Like, damn. Look at it like, that's power, though. If you're a real nigga, you like, nah. That's real power. That's demand. That's likeness. That's name, image, and likeness, nigga. You niggas, you niggas NILs is down. If, if Battle Rap had NIL deals, a lot of you niggas wouldn't be signed right now. Because you niggas androids. Like my nigga Head Ice say, shout out Wolf. You niggas androids. You androids not signed, folks. Y'all not playing the game right. <laughs> nigga said y'all would have no NIL contract. No bullshit. <laughs> the difference, bro. You got to think about it, bro. It's two different eras. A lot of these niggas... It's from the era where you scraped your knee and they told you don't cry on the concrete. You can see blood and everything. These niggas lose on a game, Subway so Surfer. They cry. Yeah, they it's two different cries. Cry. It's two different you better not cry, bro, now. Nigga lose on a video game, he crying. We crying. Nigga telling us don't cry. We just down to scrape the whole scab off our shoulder. Nigga, you better not cry. You a boy. Boy, you better not It's cry. a different type of don't cry. So these niggas real emotional. You done took the tablet from them. They kicking and screaming. We kicking and screaming because we couldn't go outside with the other boys out there that's playing in the back. Still be able to, where the lights came on. We had two different type of cries, bro. Two different no, type of cries. Like this nigga that's iPad, true. he going to cry like a mom. He going to cry like a baby. Oh, don't take one of the systems away. Oh, shit. Video game niggas, man. Shit ain't going their way. They want to quit in the middle of the uh, of the, mock or the program game and leave you out there with four. You want to throw the stick and shit. You want to throw the control. He want to quit. He, he <laughs> want to leave the party and quit. Sensitive. You want to call your mama and go home, nigga. Come on, man. Niggas better get this shit in order. And easy, you tripping. I'm going to keep saying that. That's my new... You tripping. You ever thought you was bigger than Tay Rock in any fucking aspect of this battle rap game in two years of what you done did to, to, to that man 10 to 12 when he performing against niggas that your biggest battles, he performing against them same niggas that's not even that big the same way. It ain't no fucking way you think in your mind, especially not when them people, them, them people really put fire into your flame. You had the torch, but it wasn't lit. Wasn't no fire in it. Them niggas came and put the motherfucker. You said you had the torch. It wasn't lit. It wasn't lit. He was running with it, but that motherfucker wasn't lit. The wind was blowing. Them niggas came with that motherfucking blowtorch. Fuego. You see who the fuck he? You see who the fuck was just in the trailer, right? You see who the fuck was in that main trailer for them, right? That's the fact. Look, you see how he was looking in that same thing in that in that blog with John John Easy and. Like a kid at the candy store, happy to be there. We still see that. We still see. We still see the excitement and easy on that blog to this day. No bullshit. I fuck with him, but I seen it. Surf like man, December man. Da -da -da. I'm like damn. Surf predicted this shit. Easy he was humble than a motherfucker. Then y'all see how he was sitting back in that seat. Look how he sitting in his seat now. That motherfucker seat with his chest up. He rocking back and forth. That motherfucker, yeah. He letting you know it's up now. Back, that motherfucker was slouched back when John John him. Go look at the mannerisms. I'm just keeping it. I'm just telling y'all the real. Tell me when I lie, folk. I ain't hating because y'all hear me get a nigga credit. And them niggas didn't call me everything beyond the moon. There ain't no hate on my... This is a job for me. Because when I get up off this bitch, G, I'm not going to see none of these niggas to care. Ain't nobody asking me.
But ain't no nigga ask me that I eat. Ain't no nigga ask me is I okay? Is your kids? Ain't nobody get no fuck when I'm on here. So I don't get no fuck what nigga said when I'm on here. That's when I'm gonna come back and break it down. All that shit, same thing with Verb. Verb can curse me out for the rest of the year. I don't give a fuck. If he have another battle before this year, at the top of the year, if he good, I'm going to tell a nigga he was good. That ain't got nothing to do with my critique. You niggas get too personal with niggas. You niggas get too personal with niggas that ain't even that personal with you. That ain't even in your personal life. They can say whatever on the end of the day. You, you, that nigga ain't even in your personal life. So how can I have a personal grudge with a nigga that's not in my personal life? Make that make sense, y'all. Yeah, we all get mad, but how could I have a personal grudge with a nigga that's not in my personal life? You, you know, the motherfuckers just, you know, get Come on, froze. I see you calling, but I'm cooking right now. Yo, my, no, no, no. It's my bad, Cole. I literally, my Twitter would just get, you know, get frustrated, take it out on the wrong person. Really hating. My Twitter was telling me that you wasn't on. My bad. I wouldn't even you know, oh. double back to you like that. Yeah, my motherfucker, bro. How I'm gonna be personal with a nigga? Oh, Cole, that nigga curse you back, bro. I'm not even personal enough to be feel personal about what he said to me because I'm not even with the nigga on a day to day. He ain't never met my mama. He ain't never said, bro, I got you forever. We ain't did none of that. So I know in the heat of the moment, nigga, I'm gonna say a lot of things. They gonna say a lot of things, but that don't take away from a nigga being a bitch ass nigga about the job. Now, what you think a nigga bias or whatever, nigga, that's how I feel, and I'm gonna always tell you how I feel. Fuck out of here, nigga. I feel like a lot of niggas lost battles that niggas won. Consensus come? Okay, consensus got him, but nigga, I'm gonna tell you, I felt like the nigga has lost. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That's cool, but I still recognize that a nigga won. You niggas don't be wanting to get no credit, bro. Or you niggas too personable with niggas that y'all don't know. That's how I know y'all can, y'all are gullible. A lot of y'all are real gullible. Because y'all be on this bitch getting into shit. Y'all start crying on this motherfucker about motherfuckers you met through here. Like, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Unless y'all doing something outside this motherfucker. Y'all ain't niggas ain't seen you one time. Motherfucker crying like a motherfucker. I really fucked with you. What? Nigga, I done grew up with niggas I really don't fuck with to this day. I done met you one time through battle rap. You think I overly believe you, motherfucker? No, my one out of halfway work is on you, nigga. The rest of the scene in that bitch is only focused on you. Watching and listening. Shit, I'm watching and listening to the niggas I still fuck with day to day. Shit can change at any moment. Man, you niggas too comfortable, man. but y'all say y'all from outside <laughs> of these things and you can't be surprised. It's surprising, but it ain't surprising. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think so, but I can see how it happened. That's how that shit be going when certain motherfuckers do shit. Like, yeah, I ain't think. But I can see how it happened because when this happened, all the shit that was flawed right there just start hitting your mind that you just overly overlook just because you fuck with a nigga. Like, you know what? I just overlooked that shit. And in this, you could do it even more because I don't personally fuck with you niggas personable. I ain't been to you niggas house. I ain't asked you niggas for no money. I don't hang with you niggas at no events. I'm not powwowing with you niggas. I come do my job, powwow with the niggas I do, and I get out the way. Oh, you niggas nothing. about what y'all did nigga no what we to help do with each other us fans y'all media plus the leagues plus all this shit everything is a is, is a working factor like a car the engine just don't drive the car bro you need the starter you need a crank sensor you need a water pump you need motherfucking you need like you need everything bro this shit don't go with just one motherfucker if that's the case just start doing battle raps rapping to yourself like arsenal and put them bitches out and let's see the views. Let's see if you be doing millions arguing with a, with a nigga battling yourself. And no fans. Because you still got to put it out on YouTube. Who watching it? The fans to comment and appreciate what you did. So whether you think so or not, nigga, you still rapping for our acceptance. Or the acceptance of the people you deem should or are going to appreciate this shit. That's what you rapping it for. You ain't rapping this shit to take it home and say you was nice. You want to hear niggas say you nice. The enjoyment of that. So you need us, nigga. We, more, we, we matter more than you think. And more than you want to get credit for. Just like I told niggas, the average human being is more responsible for your own life than you think you are. Because your ass living in an apartment, if I burn my fucking house up and you in that sleep and they catch fire where you can't get out, nigga, you're dead. That means I killed you and me. You can't control that. If your ass driving the best you good, if I get drunk or I'm out this bitch tweaking and crashing to you and kill you, 
you not in control, nigga. You not in as much in control as you think. Because any nigga can get to tweaking out and think, I'm going kamikaze. Damn what? So all this, I'm in control. I got me. You ain't even got you in that car. Fo, calm down. I got it. No, you don't, because that bitch a tire bust or a ball joint go and that bitch get to flipping. It's nothing you nor the passengers can do. But niggas think they in control of something. And that's what's wrong with people, mankind. Mankind not in control. I mean, the human's not in control. Mankind is in control, bro. The, the elements of mankind is in control. Let me say that. You not in control. The human's gain control because the things you put in place controls it. But human element of mankind is in control, bro. You can't stop that. And when niggas start understanding that, like, nah, bro, you, you being a good fucking citizen and taking care of the shit you supposed to do and being responsible helps me, whether you live with me or not. All us being good motherfuckers in this area is why it's probably low violence. Because we all good working paying citizens to be in here. That's why this shit working. You got six niggas over there want to gang bang, but two over here just want to be good citizens. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be gang banging. You got to root out the bad in any situation. And the bad meaning the bad people that's going to tell on you or the bad motherfuckers that's fucking up the community. Either way, you looking at it. So that's for whatever side of the fence you on, gangsters or civilians. Ain't no way you finna make it as a hardworking citizen in a high crime neighborhood. Your ass gonna fail. You're gonna see murder, robbery, and a whole nine. And you know it's high crime. So your only thing to do is move and get in a better situation. Cause complaining, knowing it was high crime before you got there. What the fuck? You already knew that. You went to then you go see the house. You gotta go do a viewing, my nigga. You ain't spin that corner and see this shit was in a complex. I said, nah, this might not be it. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm for real, bro. Like, nigga ain't spin that corner and hit that complex. Like, see, little Pookie you ain't called none of your cousins that even if you don't know that side, like, hey, yo, Spills, hey, what's over there in New Orleans and Third Ward over there and what you call over in them apartments, G? You ain't did that? That's on you. You don't want to move on there, boy. Got them pressure on your ass, and it's hot crime and, and all that shit. No, you didn't do your homework. You, you ain't Google your zip code, see what, what the crime rate was around. Come on, man. Now, I don't understand. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You got to go where you got to go. I get that. But with that, nigga, you got to be thinking of a plan to get where you got to get. To not go through what you don't need to go through. Fuck you talking about, you think the old man moved to the country, y'all, oh, shit. I'm going to shoot me shooting 101 of these bears. A bear going to kill me. I ain't fucking with you humans. I'm living at 90. Nigga be out the way on a farm in a country, one big ass house, estate or something on some boosty shit, make my own community. Ain't got to go nowhere. This shit getting treacherous. Ooh, that we hit, that hit too. Oof. Yes, sir. That's that gas, Capo. That, that, that's that Cola Nostra. You hear me? Not the coast. That's that, that, that Cola Nostra, G. Gas. But no, nah, man, I hope y'all niggas listen, man. Don't let these motherfuckers, don't let these motherfucking battle rap niggas, and I respect all of them, but don't let them niggas devalue you when they feel like they value ain't up. Because when a nigga doing his thing, he can't even see this shit. He can't even see the bullshit. I'm not talking to you niggas if I'm twerking. I just battled murder boot. I don't give a fuck what y'all said. I just battled a nigga that was a childhood legend for niggas that's grown plus me growing up. And I don't give a fuck. Listen, let's make it all the way. <coughs> let's be all the way clear here. <coughs> In these battles, <coughs> I'm going to keep it all the way still for a nigga like murder boot. He wins nothing. I repeat. Murder Mook in these battles wins nothing. Even when he win, he wins nothing. And I'm going to make it make sense about this. Even when he win, if you think he be twerk, he didn't win nothing. He just stated that he was the dude. But if twerk, if you feel like twerk beat him or even hung with him in there and made it a classic, 
twerk one in such a big of a way because the the gap of the uh, of the of the errors going in there with a nigga mook that was actually that good one of the best we synced him also adapting and taking more matches which we asked of him even with all that he don't overwin only the competitor against mook overwins and he got multiple ways to win mook got one way to win and it's just if he won a battle for y'all not to say he not he trash and washed up to steal because him winning the battle is the critique that he ain't washed up or or he can do this shit in a lot of niggas minds not he a goat like loaded lux he don't get loaded lux treatment like oh he a goat he he get this nigga tries he abcd he ain't really this but he come out every time and prove it and prove it and prove it bro that's what make this nigga a legend the ultimate legend so you can't even really say the nigga in battle. Big kid, just fuck the old niggas, the Iron Solomons and Reeds, and all them niggas. And you can add that whenever because they all mixed thinkers. But I go to the niggas of the new bro. That the nigga that took Tay Rock, Goody, Geechee, Goody, Big K. Whether you like it or not, Goody. This one with New Jersey twerk, Goody. All four of his battles with the new niggas are good battles. All of them. And all of them niggas are grooving for him maybe winning. You can't tell me that's not ghost shit, bro. All them niggas from a different generation. Rock, different generation. Geechee, different generation. Big K, different generation. Twerk, different generation. And let me save my heat for the blog tonight. I'm from the heat up tonight. My bad, Mook. I was giving them niggas this early pressure. I ain't gonna lie. Shit impressive to me. I ain't no hater, bro. That shit dynamic. That shit Mook doing is dynamic. Fuck that. Oh, what about Solomon and the Reed? No. Them niggas we been screaming for them niggas to battle, he done went through four different generations of them niggas. And whether you felt like he won or lost, he went in there and put them up. Ah, damn, Mookie. Nigga, a legend, G. No, I ain't even putting out the motherfucker said he wasn't coming outside. He, he came outside. You can't, you, you gotta give him his props. You got to. Nah, he came outside. Listen, and then let's think about it. Niggas ain't even peep. He came out in less than three months, too. When they just battled Big Cannon Blue Room, September. Right, September 2nd and 3rd. What's this, December? All right. Yep. Gotta give a nigga credit when credit is due, bro. Gotta give a nigga that credit when credit is due, fool. Credit is due to that man, G. From all the battle rappers, all the. What do you, even if you feel like Twerk beat him, dude owed his credit, bro. Myrtle Mook is old as motherfucking credit. Ain't no doubt about it, G. He changed the money in this shit. Wasn't nobody talking about 20s and 30s before Mook said he wasn't coming back against I unless he got the 25? And motherfucker said Mook was tripping when he said... Nigga said Mook was tripping. Said he was sure. Wait, he get that from you? Who he get that from? You are real. Nah, I can't see man. Okay, I remember the blog like it was yesterday. Man, he we can't make Cassidy with 40, 20. 000. No, I'm talking about, oh, yeah, yeah. But but to the point of in battle rap terms, see, they was betting back then. See, that's money yeah. on the floor. We talking about an actual payment. We talking about an actual yes, payment. Yes, yes. Them niggas about to bet 20. We talking about telling the nigga, using your leverage to say, hey, publicly, I need that Quaker. I ain't nothing shaking. Yeah, I was. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. He said front and back. Come on, man. Still. Smack called me. Y'all was getting some hair. Was the first shit going viral around here? All right, nigga said he want to hate on dude, folks. You think I'm about to lose to a nigga named John Archibald? Nah, twerk was bombing on. Nah, I had, listen. And even with all that said, I'm a nigga on the twerk side. I feel like twerk two one first and second. I gave move to third. But if you got Mook second and third or however you seeing it, I'm not arguing with you, bro. 
I, it ain't even that type of that battle was, to argue with a nigga because it was that dope that of a battle. That was the coldest mook I see. That was the coldest mook I see. That was the coldest mook. But I seen the twerk in there doing the cold, responding to that cold, especially in that second. I didn't think he could do it. I right. said, this motherfucker is, it took this nigga hardest punch. And that motherfucker said, I'm still right here. I said, oh, yeah, we in a battle. So I gave Twerk the first. I gave Mook the third. The second is a debatable round, in my opinion. I feel like whoever you got, I ain't mad. If you got Twerk, I ain't mad if you got Mook. It's a classic, bro. Mook came out and put on, bro. And that's when niggas need to highlight more than the win and loss. We get to the win and loss, but let's get to the material, how niggas was rapping and what niggas was really doing in there. Niggas was really getting right in there, fool. Yeah, that's my top two champions, though. Cop on and twerk. Because you got to understand is this. Yeah. I, 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 fuck with, I fuck with Easy. But I guarantee you, Easy, if you and Tay Rock in the situation of whatever, whatever happened with the switch spots, they would have never said they don't know who Tay Rock was. On my mama, they wouldn't. On my mama, the culture, the back, back, hip hop, and everybody would already knew who Tay Rock was. On my mama, they wouldn't have been guessing and, and putting up. No, they would have had him direct. Surf would have been direct. It wouldn't have been all those speculations. The motherfuckers would have been bigger than been bigger than Rock. Nah, bro, you tripping? A side? Nah, bro. You drunk. And I fuck with you. Even after all the bootleg and shit, fool. I fuck with you. It is what it is. Tell Muslim Poppy chill. But you tripping. You off of a Molly, a Addy, a perk. Some, some weed. weed, liquor. You tripping. And it's good because the car coming up. You versus John John. I know one thing. Talking that shit. Listen, John John have been kind of quiet. You steady be mounting this pressure up on you when you just be cool. You be cool. But when you start talking like this, bro, if John John go in there and put them the Paul, and I'm with you, but if he put that Paul McGraw on you, you in trouble, boy. Because we, we ain't gonna act like you really ain't just, yeah, you can fumble Cody. Niggas felt like you fumbled that pack with Geechee. All right, I'm just media breaking down the battles, the part they say we don't do. Niggas be crazy, folks. Stop that cap, hit that cash out. Salute to my team, too. Last weekend, we was turning the champs. We going into a new weekend, loaded up. We getting right. Salute the kids. Don't follow these niggas, kids. These niggas around here, <laughs> don't look up to these niggas. <laughs> No bullshit. These niggas? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That nigga said, I'm bigger than that nigga went on three letter man and said that shit. That nigga, that nigga easy a beast for that. That nigga, he said that shit with conviction. Yeah, he used Rum Nitty and uh, Loaded Lux. He used Rum Nitty and Loaded Lux as an example. Yeah, hey, tripping. That nigga a beast, G. That nigga crazy. <laughs> that boy crazy. Y'all talking about some, I'm crazy. Shit. Compared to these battle rappers, nigga gotta be like this. Compared to these niggas, man, these niggas crazy than a motherfucker, y'all. Nigga lost his mind, bro. That man and lost his Mrs. Nine. That nigga sound bigger than Rock. He said Randall Cunningham's a legend. He, he said Randall Hurst is now. He called the nigga <laughs> Randall <laughs> Cunningham. What? And ain't need neither one of them one shit. My boy got trophies. Nigga like the Tom Brady of this shit. I was about to say, you should have said Tom yeah, Brady. Yeah, you talking about Randall. Man, is you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> a nigga with no chips. Come on. A nigga, nigga with no man. chips. This Burr. is Tom Brady. Nigga, you went and played for the Patriots. You went and played for the Patriots, G. How you gonna try that? 
Buccaneers still go get that ring. Even with the bills up. The nigga went and played for the Patriots, bro, and said, this nigga was cunning hell. How you going to disrespect God? Ain't it evil to live backwards? This nigga crazy. I like it, though. Get it spicy. They going to battle, though. They going to battle. They need to. Why, why, why not? Nah, why not? Nah, get it, make, make it make spicy. Make it spicy. But damn, bro. Make it spicy. I like it. Well, like, 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 like money on the floor, but not, see, not, this, well, the, this, the, this, the, this, 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 the innuendo with this shit, though. They think that they getting down, like when Rock said, I could battle who I want, and they like, oh, well, you battle all these niggas because he's showing y'all I do what I want, I can battle these niggas and have the same exciting battle with or without y'all. With or without y'all, I'm exciting. I know you want to get in there with me, I'm Tay Rock. Stop acting like I ain't at the murder move luck status. Like when a nigga Tay Rock, that potential of Tay Rock battle ain't there, that allure, a nigga ain't there. Like that, that's where the disrespect come in. Like, bro, stop hey, playing like this ain't an in game what... battle. Like, bro, you better be happy he this generous. And you know, you know what's so crazy though? How a nigga like Rock could really be outside this much and his value nah, just Rock don't show, appreciate. Rock he want them legends it, show. He his value just don't drop, bro. It's always gonna be Tay Rock. Like that's a different. He come out against. But that nigga Hov said, "I'm gonna walk in memorial." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga <laughs> walk in memorial. G, you would never be a side to do. He did too much for battle rap in its entirety. G, including you. Especially you. And we're going to have Gun Bar King take Rock on one shot battle lead. Y'all stay tuned for that, like, too. Y'all, niggas, be, that niggas be just... just throw that bro, out niggas there. just be... Yeah, he definitely reaped the most benefits for joining gun titles, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, he helped his ass. Like, out of everybody from gun titles, he reaped the benefits the most. Chess was already chess. Rock was already rock. Surf was already like you got your like way. Well, you know bigger. we ain't gonna get. You know, let him tell it. He'll say he was gun tied. He won gun tight when he battled chess, and he was already cooking up. Can't take that away from him. But we already know when them people put that motherfucking NASCAR stick on that motherfucking uh Chevrolet. <laughs> you already knew what time it was, brother. We all knew. And it's been lit ass since, as it should be. And he sustained, which we gave him his credit, he sustained doing his thing beyond that. After the announcement, after the little shitty whatever he did, he sustained, he doing his motherfucker twang. He doing his thing, G. Can't, can't get down on the nigga. Nigga doing his twang, bro. He ain't in front neither, nigga. You can see it. He meant that shit. Shit, A-side. So I'm the A side. I said, damn. I said, I'm the A side. I said, damn. Talk to this nigga then. <laughs> he meant it. He meant it. He meant it, bro. <laughs> but but I'm delusional. Right. That boy meant that shit. What it is, yo, bro, we ain't even get the chance to miss Tay Rock, bro. Niggas be forgetting. That's the same thing with LeBron. Every time so y'all don't even realize what's going on in y'all face. Every time Until LeBron he retired. Scope, every time LeBron scores, it's a record. <laughs> every time he do a layup, a free shoot, a free throw, mm -hmm. every single thing this man do on a goal. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie, you know, that's a good ass point though. Us we like every time I score right now, till I leave the NBA, it's a record. <laughs> nigga break a record every game. Every he game played. he played, he made the record even for the rest of his same career. Thing. If Steph Curry make a three, it's a record. No matter like, no matter how y'all looking at this shit like this normal, and the people damn near no party. bullshit. Like, every time he shoot a three from here on out, it's a record. No bullshit. Damn, <laughs> he break a record every game. Every game, and then a nigga average three threes a game. So the nigga, like, come on, man, LeBron guaranteed. Nah, breaking the record three times a game. <laughs> if you look at it like that, that is. Because like, think about it. You at the top of the, of the record, you steady increasing that bitch. That means you pushing that bitch up every rip. Every, every rip. So LeBron shit LeBron different. He break a record every time he scores. Every time LeBron just got do a the first layup, a free throw, a layup, a technical foul, no matter what the fuck LeBron do, that nigga is a record, man. Even assists, because he, he, he's still raising that, too, so... Come on, man, that man, come on, this shit. Y'all better enjoy this shit. The people about to retire. 
He got about six years left on LeBron, probably seven. With Brian and them getting there as a rap. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, it's churchy. Nah, with Brian and Bryce making it, with Bryce making it, years, Bill, with Bryce make it as a rap, man. That man gonna be a coach on 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 the fucking Lakers or some shit, man. I'm telling you, y'all better enjoy him, Steph, Wayne, all them type of niggas, Jay Z, all them type niggas. Y'all better enjoy the people, man. Y'all sleep. Off that Jay Z shit, nigga. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna do him now. I'm saying, Jay Z, all them niggas, son, huh? all them niggas, y'all better just Snoop Dogg. I ain't even gonna sit there. And be Bro, no you got to I ain't gonna lie. He did, he did, he did, he took. No, don't get me wrong. Uh, X, he helped. Easy, def, definitely helped take them up for sure. But before he helped them, took them up, bro. Y'all got to understand. Let's stop acting like they wouldn't make, bro. Surf is making a mockery out of oh, the kids, man. I about to man. say that, boy. Look, man, with or without him, Surf is going to surf and rock them. And Chess them was going to be that. All, like, you saying uh, they, he took gun titles up? Yeah. No, nah, that, nah, that steam he brought made it more powerful because he was on fire, bro. We can't, we can't do that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So basically, so basically, it's like a nigga want a ring already. In the world, it's yeah. like, yup, thank you, Tyson. A nigga want a ring already. Nigga just came over there to get a ring. Like, what y'all saying? Because a nigga want a ring already. A couple of them. No, you, <laughs> you, you, got, got, you got, you got, you got, you got to get hey, a nigga and surf, surf them want a couple of rings, nigga. A little, a little crazy. Man. Nah, bro, y'all oh, know, know who this is, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all went too far, bro. That nigga Jordan Poole, man. That nigga came over there. Okay, KD is crazy. I think that. I think Jordan Poole is crazy. There you go. He joined. That nigga Jordan went over Poole. there by the Wizards. Nigga went nah, over there by the Wizards. Jordan he looked like bro. he about to get kicked off the team. Nah, I ain't gonna nah bro. Jordan I'm Poole, talking about gang. the. I'm talking about the the role of of what Jordan Poole like, bro. Don't get it fucked up. And that ring year, Jordan Poole was like that, nigga. Don't know after Draymond oh, yeah. stole him. Yeah. He was a little so dizzy, but nigga for I, that that year when remember Stephen Allen was hurt that year. That nigga I, that nigga was getting active for I'm the set. That nigga Poole, <laughs> nigga shit on him now, but that's not act like that fourth ring. If it ain't for pool, they get that bitch, bro. They don't get that bitch without Jordan Poole. Well, and they, they damn so good without yeah. Steph J. Boy. Pool was getting Jordan Poole was getting Jordan Poole, fool. That's what I'm saying. Ain't no way that's possible. All right, listen. Yeah, Jordan Poole helped. KD left, he's still a star. Jordan Poole left, nobody here. Yeah, Jordan Poole helped him. But nigga, that man had established, bro. It's not KD. It's not KD. It's not KD. He definitely had Jordan Poole, though. Wait, Easy with the gun top, they already had a KD. Listen, listen, listen. Easy was never the best nigga on that team, bro. They already had a KD. We talking about the analogy, though, bro. Exactly. So the analogy got to be right. He was never the best nigga on that team, fool. Yeah. He is not going over there winning finals MVP over Rock nor Surf. Because, again, them saying, them saying, hold on. Because, listen, let's not get it fucked up. And that's what I keep telling y'all. Them same stages he made his biggest movies on, the wave was on a lot of them same stages, and the movie got even bigger when he came out. Let's get to that, he though. Was the main, that he shit. was the main character of the movie. Get to what? 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 He was what? Battle of the Night every time he was on the same stage. No, he won Battle of the Night, but you know what was going. If, just, even if the other nigga fucked up, you talked about his battle. No bullshit, but he was doing the niggas. Show. It was the surf show. He was a guest star on the surf show, man. Every time he opened it up, and then surf go right after that and shake yeah, the building. That's how y'all feel. I'll just let you know what happened. happened. That's, that's what, what it happened. is. That's what it is. Think bro. about it. Him and Chess. Listen, him and Chess was immaculate on that stage in Houston, but surf got up there right after that and sent John John to the outer rim. John and John still, still had real. the best battle of the year. He still real. because halfway because of Chess. So why are you act like and, come on back like? I'm saying, so what does that have to do with Hope said the best three rounds of the year was, off that sir. battle alone, nigga. Performance of the night. They, 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 they had battle of the night. He had performance of the night. Yeah, Brian, he had performance of the year. <laughs> he did it too. All right, man. Yeah, all right, man. man. You go to that battle with him and Verb, I think uh, that was I think that was twerking. Uh, was that twerking? Uh, surf? Nah. Maybe I'm fucked. Nah, up. hell nah. Hell nah. Hell Who was on that twerking surf card? Uh, easy and Sean. Oh, okay, that was easy. No, and I don't think easy and Sean. One of them, on one of them battles is on that. Either easy and Verb or easy and uh. It was easy and Sean. And Sean, my boy. Nah, easy and Verb was on the car with uh with DNA and um. Who the hell hollow? DNA battle? Was the hollow? Nah, not hollow. It was a uh... hell. Nah, I forgot that uh that battle was that battle wasn't it wasn't. <laughs> Battle wasn't hitting on shit really for real. I think that was wasn't that wasn't that the same night uh T Top and Sharon battle? 
Somebody was. I don't know. know. But remember, Easy and Sean Surf claimed he made that shit happen. So that was that was on the same card as Surf and Twerk. Easy and Sean. Yeah, Easy had shit. just said something like he took Sean for some reason. That nigga, that nigga Easy Christ. <laughs> he said, "What he, he did? Just, did he just say so like that?" CP, what he said about that? Like, what's it called? Made me take Sean or something like that. Right, right, right. Like right. I was hot. I didn't even want to battle him. Like I, that nigga Easy Christ. Easy could talk all the time, man. Like you just gotta stop bro. calling these niggas old, man. Like you're not the same age or older than some a lot of these <laughs> niggas, man. Watch out, man. <laughs> Yo ass old as hell calling these niggas old, man. Chill out, Easy. <laughs> y'all holding on to these old niggas, nigga. You old too. <laughs> y'all grad, y'all from the same graduating class in high school, man. Watch out. <laughs> My boy had to reclassify. Okay, resolution two. Okay, okay. Oh, you was at the meet and greet? Yeah, what happened at that meet and greet? They was all stars. Because I know at that same, when he battled Cortez that same weekend, when he come off stage, that nigga had a line of motherfuckers trying to get pictures and autographs. I ain't see no other battle rapper getting that type of tick, folk. I ain't see it. Oh, yeah. Man, only, was, oh, he get quiet when facts get thrown show, around. Man. Shout out my boy. He said that meet degree. He said he was there. When nobody focused on no easy, my folks trying to get down there is that surf poster autograph. Niggas, try, niggas trying to get <laughs> free the way, G. You know, this, shit, this is surf game, man. It's surf game, bro. It's, it's the surf show, man. They like, it's no, we trying to get down there to the way and get that autograph, G. Y'all tripping. <laughs> yeah. Hey, remember easy said he'll take surf on the return. That boy, yeah, crazy stupid motherfucker. Whoever do that is a sacrifice. Nah, yeah, he's stupid as hell. He claimed it. He said, "I'll take surf on his return." Man, whoever said, yeah, battle that head. man, whoever battle him on the return is a sacrificial lamb. Man. But his steam, his steam ain't the same steam it was when he said that though. Man, that man, man, I'm telling you, man. man I ain't gonna lie, he beat John John for that bread. It might go back. Up. He beat John man, John for that chicken. This bitch going up, nigga. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. If he go in there and oh, dominate cool. John John and pick that quarter up. I'm not taking that from him, Cola, but I just know whoever. I don't give a fuck who battle, sir. Whoever battle that barn and went home, sorry, that buzzer. Nah, ain't nobody. I'm not even saying. Ain't nobody. So he going to have two rounds, and them bitches going to be dominant. You know, when sir come home, he only got two rounds. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that man going to have a Cola. The third, the he don't give a fuck about. You know, his it's first. It's going to be a nigga who don't give a fuck like it's, Yeah, his mind. first two battles back. He might fuck he got four rounds. You hear me, Cola? He might fuck around and walk off on the nigga after the him first Him and Danny round. would be crazy on the Yeah, you know Danny going they're blindfolded like fuck it niggas is crazy and he gonna tell oh yeah it was easy i know so i knew my battle rap shit mob it was easy and sound that search true they trying to act like i ain't the genius folk trying to get my mind tripping bro come on man i thought these niggas knew battle rap thanks mob g mob would die for that g problem gang man these niggas tripping bro have my shit fucked up. And what you know what he did to twerk that night? Yeah, that was the clips and B dot same card too. I remember that shit. Y'all know who did what on yeah. Stop playing, nigga. And Sean Loki won that battle. I fuck with easy, but <laughs> he's in the tub like the water hot. <laughs> What's that shit he said about the what about, about the waveless door? Oh my god, he was wild. No. He, bro, he was why he say he say interest Eve is like the waveless door. He said, ah, yeah. he said I just had a that. star in the. He said I had a star in the flag, like I'm Vietnamese. But he said Sean was tweaking. That bro. nigga was tweaking in that bitch. <laughs> Y'all be skipping a lot of those shit. That's over about. That's an unpopular opinion. And I always felt like this. Even fucking with you, I'm like Sean got him, but Easy had that super fire on him. Sean was just getting back off the run, and Chiller had just put foot the beat on. Feet, foot the boot on him, so you know he was in that. He was in that gap. To is we fucking with him or we fucking with him still? You know how that gap be. All battle rappers know that we fucking with him, but is he back back to what we should fuck with him feel? Niggas know what I'm talking about. Niggas and I had Sean whooping on Sean whooped on Geechee too, but that's a whole other conversation. Sean whooped on who? Nah, he ain't whooping on Geechee. Man, he shine whooped on Geechee. Ah, he ain't whooping on Geechee. Man. He That's a good battle. Geechee, man. That's a good battle, Tyson. Come on, man. Bro. He was in there spinning on Geechee, man. That's a good battle. Tasmanian devil in that bitch, man. Spinning. That's a good battle. I'm going to go watch that back today. 
Hey, hey also, like also, minutes. also, don't get it fucked up, too. I know y'all excited about the rookie sophomores. Y'all excited about the motherfucking uh, drop your location. But listen, TOS is about to spin a block with that Geechee and Coach Corleone and all of Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck going on. We finna get man, it to money on everything. All right, LA versus Chicago fire. That mm -hmm. car fire. Everything, man. Yeah, that's so. That, uh, that's Talk four and uh, active. That car fire. Yep, four that's and that's active. Yep. Four and that's active. Fire. Yep. We breaking that that's bitch cold. down tonight, too. That's Prime is QP. Shit on it. Shit, shit. Name shit. a card. I'm going to tell you the Bad Money member. Bad Money on everything, man. On my, oh, on my baby. Everything, man. Like like Honey Shot versus Dre Vicious, Merlo G. Will, Mega versus Real Name, Cut versus L.I., Shiesty Four versus Roy G. Y'all remember that cut, that promo we cut in this bitch with Shiesty Four and Roy oh, G? Yeah, that, that bitch was, was, that was a zoo. Yeah. That bitch was yeah. a zoo. Yeah, that you got Kit and Crash versus Danny. This bitch going back up. Yeah, Four versus Active, Martin Luther King weekend, nigga. I can't, wait, the fuck we, going I can't on. wait till we come to Chicago. Yeah, go ahead, but uh, but I'll be well. You know, I my son got all Americans in Dallas, G. So I won't be here. I'm gonna keep it a bit. I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm gonna make sure I don't know. The 11th through the 16th, sure. I won't be here, bro. I'll be in Dallas, no, Texas at the All American Bowl. Whatever bad money come out there, man, I gotta. I'm gonna make nah, sure. Nah, I just sending the All American Bowl. I'm gonna make bowl, sure, cause yeah. I, I, I don't give a fuck if I got. I don't know. I don't care. But I'm gonna make sure. I'll be five that. days, 11th through the 16th, bro. We'll okay, be down there. Ain't no way. We're gonna go get active, me and my young boy. And he hooping like a dog too. So we, you know, we we getting right, G. He been fucking up in school though, G. He getting, you know, he just turned 13, he preteen. So I ain't gonna lie, I had to put the motherfucking Duke Nukems on him yesterday. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it was the first time I had to put the Duke Nukem because I told him. I say, boy, you don't really get whoopers like that. You know, I don't really put my hands on you. But if I gotta come up to the school last week, if I gotta come talk to these teachers when I come up for coaches, you getting them Duke Nukems. All hands in the camera. Like I said, I figured it out. What's up? We come back to gamble. What the fuck you talking about, man? Oh, two K, bitch. Don't get scared now, bitch. I'm not playing no play now. Get your stupid ass a <laughs> uh, a fucking a build and meet me at the wreck, nigga. That nigga want to play play <laughs> now, man. Watch out. Don't get scared now, dumb ass. <laughs> I whooped cop on ass last night. Tell him, cop. Tell him. Go ahead. Tell him. Nah, that's facts, bro. <laughs> Fuck all that, man. All that the court stars you could think of coming up this weekend, bash money on them, man. Everything. Will versus uh, what's it, OG Prime. Capo versus Authentic. Dollar versus Murder. Coach versus Marvelous. ATM versus Zay. You heard the whole bash money this weekend, man. Then oh. Coach popping out for uh for uh for Geechee right after that, man. Immediately after. What's up? The coach Immediately outside. The coach outside, nigga. My boy been in the lab, sitting back, the coach. chilling, doing his one-two. It's going to be a movie, bro. My boy Polo got his new list dropping. Bro, bro, we on our shit, bro. Don't let these niggas fool you, man. And listen, we got something else coming. Just remember, we ain't forget, bro. Don't listen. Just when a tumbleweed come through this bitch, there's no smoke coming behind it, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Big speaker got to start getting ready, man. I got to go, you know, do my one, two of my kids and, you know, third through fifth graders today. So I got to get real, real fundamental. You know, you got to find games for these little motherfuckers. Gee, I ain't going to lie. Them little niggas, you got to keep them busy. You don't keep them busy. It's can I go to the bathroom and I need water. So keep them busy. See, that's the trick with these little kids, folks. They'll do anything you let them. I'm learning. But at the same time, you know, a nigga ain't had a look, look kid so long. You don't even know what to do with their little ass. You got to remember. You got to remember, bro. Like, for real. But, man, salute y'all, man. Stop the cap in the cash. Big speaker out. Don't let these niggas lie to you, because I ain't going to lie to you. We all flawed. Fuck them.